come from a little town, maybe 20 minutes away from Rome. It's called Cerveteri. And it's just a cool little town, simple, um, pretty close to the, to the sea, the Mediterranean Sea, where sometimes we get some fun waves. That's where I started surfing. So I remember doing my first turn. I was on a 5-6. Every day at 6 o'clock, there was a ferry driving by, and there'd be two waves at 6 o'clock. And we'd be like 30 kids, like frothing. And on those two waves, it would all just go either like one on the first one and then one on the second one. And that's where I did my first turn. I just saw the potential, like he's pretty, really competitive. Um, I saw a lot of myself as a competitor in, in Leo, like he's really competitive and really driven to do well and, um, and really clever. Like you've got to be really smart these days to be a, a successful professional surfer. So he's, he's got, ticks all the boxes. No, I don't really have a girlfriend. I travel too much for a girlfriend. I have friends here and there, but that's it. <laughs> He's got an online fine code. Here's the dar ad with all our boards. Growing up, I just, they put me on a surfboard and I loved it, absolutely loved it. Like all my friends were playing soccer, I don't know, just doing all normal sports that you do in Italy. Where I was like just surfing, like that was, that's what I wanted to do. I would hang out with them, I'd play soccer, I, I love soccer, just play soccer, but as soon as those waves, I'd just be like, I'm out there, like. Well, come on, you'll get shot. up with with Bailey my stepdad he's the t Quicksilver team manager and he always brought me around the world with Kelly with Jeremy with all the Quicksilver guys and that helped me so much I think just just traveling with them and just looking up to them they're such amazing surfers and I was I, I was so lucky to experience that my life is definitely not a normal life I love surfing I love traveling I love meeting new people I love learning new languages Wherever I go, I try and speak the language. I just, traveling's my life, and I don't think I would ever look back and just think i just regretting what I did, because I'm loving it. I'd say I'm home about a quarter of the year. Um, I don't know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Like, I guess you can say, kind of, the road's kind of my home, I guess. Both my parents are from Tokyo, Japan, and. Um, you know, for them to move to California was definitely super hard for them, and um, they weren't super wealthy. And it makes me want to, you know, try my hardest because I know they tried their hardest, and they gave us all the support. And I get to become a surfer, and I'm traveling around the world now. Uh, what I like about traveling is just experiencing all the different cultures and um, learning new languages. Really, what you know, I love is I'm trying, like, right now. I'm trying to listen Portuguese and. Um, instead of going to school, why not, you know, actually go, go to Portugal and learn it, so <laughs> that's what's kind of, that's what I'm trying to do now. Poco fala português. On my third birthday, I got my first surfboard, and um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what made me want to get it. It was just, my dad always surfed, and I don't know, I just liked the way this one board looked, and it is in Hawaii. And, that's where I kind of got my first wave. Wasn't like on the inside, inside like Alamoana, but it was like so small. But it was just a memorable. Like I just stood up and like rode a wave that was probably like two inches big. But that's kind of I guess how it all started. I like it because we have this. We're both really competitive, and we have this. We have the same goal, so we're doing the same stuff, and it helps because we always surf together and just always push each other. Um, what I don't like about him that he's really messy. He's super messy. Wherever we go, he just gets all his shit out and just throws it everywhere. But that's canal. <laughs> I think I just think Leo's a neat freak. 
He's the type of guy he'll make sure everything's perfect. You know, his things are always in the, the same position. If he loses something, he'll freak out on me because he always thinks I steal his stuff. So, because <laughs> we always we have the same stuff. <laughs> there is a bit of rivalry there with everybody because we know that we're just going to be competing against each other for the next 10 years. Like any other sport, there's going to be like the guys you want to smoke and the guys you want to smoke even more. <laughs> and, um, but like we're all friends, like out of the water, you know, like like Leo's my best friend, but in heat I'm gonna kill him. So if you don't believe in making the CT, you can't you can't get there. And I believe that I'm gonna make it. It's gonna be a lot of hard work, but this year I'm already pretty close. I'm 30th in the world, and there's still three primes left. So it, it could happen. I'm 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 ready for it. Honestly, like I think every every surfer on you know doing the junior tour and all that stuff is amazing, and you can't you can't really count anybody out because you're against Mother Nature as well, and the waves could come to the other guy, and the waves could just not come to you. So it's you know everybody's everybody's a threat these days. For me, it's pretty hard to be happy when you lose, and I don't care if I had you know two nines and lost, or if I had two ones and lost. To me, it's you lost and. <laughs> you got second at first, so it's just like the passion, you know. It's like it's, it's good to have the you know have passion, and if because if you don't, you know, there's no motivation. There's you don't there's no fun out of it. <laughs>